Welcome back to Waza Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about three components of a figure four arm lock and then also how we can manipulate those figure four arms locks in different ways. So the first thing when the punch comes in, I always try to emphasize striking first. So I emphasize striking on your way in, maybe kicking on your way in, maybe hitting here on your way in to take that figure four. In addition to striking, you also want to make sure that you don't reach around your opponent's arm to grab your wrist because that's a really loose figure four arm lock. You actually want to take your opponent's arm and put it around your wrist. So I actually move my opponent's arm around my wrist and then hold on. The third component is making sure that there's some sort of a wall. So I put the arm lock into my chest or shoulder. So now we have a good figure four arm lock and let's look at three ways that we can manipulate this. So here we go, the punch comes in. I have done some sort of a strike, a strike through. I've made sure to wrap around. Now I can take a step out to the left and take him down to the side. I can also drop him straight down and then manipulate the body in a bunch of other ways, also taking that arm bar, you can go into a spear. There's a bunch of different things you can do from there. And then another component is taking that arm lock, but moving your body the opposite way and reversing the lock. So things to remember when you are implementing this figure four, you want to do some sort of strike, implement some sort of pain. Even when I'm going into the figure four, why not punch because I'm Going, I'm going up that way anyway. The other is making sure that you wrap their arm around yours to make it nice and tight. And the third is to make that wall. And then they're pretty much yours.